and we are biomedical engineering in Anna University Chennai. I am going to talk about an open access article titled Virtual Reality for Rehabilitation. It was presented in the symposium on holistic orthopedic rehabilitation by Daniel Mann, a PhD scholar, Department of Rehabilitation, Hong Kong University. What is virtual reality? What is virtual environment? And how can it help for rehabilitation? A virtual environment is one in which humans can use their own senses to interact with the computer generated environment. This computer generated environment does not exist actually, but we can feel that it exists. It's just like a gaming software or something like that, but one can feel oneself inside that environment. And advantageously, it has many characteristics which makes the training possible in the best way. These characteristics include navigation. One can move inside the virtual environment and interaction. One can interact with the virtual environment and one can feel their presence inside the virtual environment. And the next one is immersion. Immersion, it's like uh, you are cut down from the external environment one, and feel only the virtual environment, that is the computer generated environment alone. And applications of virtual reality can include training people on daily activities like one can train people on activities like car driving, kitchen activities and office activities, something like that. Uh, and all, it is also possible to train the differently able people uh, efficiently by uh, this technique. And the next one is interactive rehabilitation exercise for the old people, for rehabilitation, for using their own muscle power and to make them walk or sit and get them relieved of their pains and all that, all that things. Then we saw rehabilitation as a part. When a person is in pain or has some, uh, some injury on his hand, he will be given an external thing to wear on his hand and uh, he is made to interact with the environment, virtual environment. So when he moves his hand outside the environment, he will feel himself moving his hand inside the environment. So he will know the correct amount of stress and pressure to be given there and he will regain confidence how to move and what to move. This will be especially useful for amputed legs. When we fix an artificial limb and make the person to move in a virtual environment, they will come to know what the gait analysis is and learn how to walk. Then uh, person, persons with spinal cord injury can also be benefited by this approach. And training on daily activities can be included like learning the traffic rules by the blind people and then car driving and all those stuff. Coming to the training for games, any sports activities can be trained through this approach. It can be like help holding a handheld device with the user and interacting with the virtual environment. Whenever they move the handheld device like this and that, the bat or something, whichever they hold inside the virtual environment will also move. In this way, the user can be trained on any sort of difficulty level, even without a ground, without a, a co-player or something like that. Next, how uh, now we'll see how this approach is achieved. Virtual reality can be uh, can can be realized through three types of approach. One is immersive, second one is non-immersive, and video based. In, in in an immersive environment, you actually feel yourself inside a virtual environment. It can be wearing a uh, wearing a virtual wearing a virtual thing, and uh, an auditory stimulus is also given through a headset, so that you will feel inside the uh, uh, virtual environment, and you'll be completely detached from the external environment. Non-immersive is not like that. You will see the virtual environment in a screen projected before you and the auditory stimulus is projected inside the headset. But you will not feel yourself detached from the external environment. Video based approach is something in which a photograph of you, uh, a camera is used basically. A photograph of you, the environment you are present in or projected inside the virtual environment and you are made to move inside the virtual environment. Coming to the advantages of a virtual environment, virtual reality in training. What is the advantages and what is the need for a virtual environment? Virtual reality is especially valuable when training in real life situations will be impractical, dangerous, logically difficult and it is expensive, too difficult to control. Virtual reality has a capacity and a greater flexibility to simulate a greater range of situations and environments as compared to other simulation based techniques and virtual reality holds people's attention for a longer period of time when compared with the other training techniques. Now, how can this virtual reality can be used for training sports person? 
The science behind this training approach can be efficiently used to train sportsperson on various games. The kind of visual training can be used to train sportsmen on various games, on various difficulty levels, even without a court, without a ground to practice and without some co players. There is no need of a coach for particular training. When you specify a game and when you uh, have the environment that is only the four walls are necessary and the software package is necessary for training. This method of training ensures higher levels of motivation, practice, coaching and ability to play in any environment provided to them. Training for sports using virtual reality is really a boon and we have to make use of it in the most possible and efficient way. Thank you. Vanakkam. Mainigar unmayana sural galai uruvakkuvadan moolam vilayattu payichikal matrum andrada vaalvil payichikalai sirandha murayil alikkamudiyum enbadai eduthurikka irukkindi. Daniel Mann in the main art of Avenger, it is summoned the man of the eye with the line at a cube. Our other eye win would even main either Unmayana Surali Uruvaki and the Surali, Matra Tiranagal, Matrum Yelbana Mani that will anever you or Kuripita Tiramailayo, and that you would pipe Shilayo, pipe to Vita, and the Yelbana Murayu, Pan Madang Adiga Murivala Tarum and a Kandarinda. In the main either Unmay Surali, Unmay Sural Pipe Shimurai, Vilayata Turi, Yavar of Fine Padum in Rad. ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட விளையாட்டில் மைதானமோ அல்லது உடன் விளையாட இணை நபர்களும் இல்லாமலேயே எந்த விதமான கடின அளவிலும் பயிற்றுவிக்க முடியும் என அவர் கண்டறிந்துள்ளார் எந்த விதமான கடின அளவிலும் உடன் விளையாடும் நபர்கள் இல்லாமலேயே ஒரு பயிற்சி ஒரு விளையாட்டை நாம் ஒரு நபருக்கு பயிற்றுவிக்க முடியும் இந்த முறை அவர்களுக்கு இன்னும் ஊக்கத்தையும் மன தைரியத்தையும் அளிக்கும் மிக உபயோகமாகவும் இருக்கும் எனவே விளையாட்டு வீரர்களுக்கு நல்ல விளையாட்டு வீரர்களுக்கு இன்னும் ஊக்கத்தையும் தைரியத்தையும் எந்த சூழலிலும் விளையாடக்கூடிய மன பக்குவத்தையும் அளிக்கும் இந்த மெய்நிகர் உண்மை சூழலில் விளையாட்டு வீரர்களை பயிற்றுவித்து மென்மேலும் உயர்வோமாக இது சம்பந்தமாக ஏதேனும் சந்தேகங்கள் இருப்பின் எங்களை தொடர்பு கொள்ளவும் நன்றி